Good evening, residents of Dearborn Heights. Uh, today, uh, we're having our first of two public hearings that we're required to do for CDBG, Community Development Block Grant. Um, what I'm gonna do first is basically uh, hand the microphone to, uh, first of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Joe Hashim. I'm the director of the CDBG. Um, I have Chris Klumchak, who's uh, the grant coordinator, Sabazi, who works with the rehab. And we have Jason Smith from Waitram, who uh, acts as, as our consultant. Uh, what I want to do first is I want Chris, uh, I'm going to hand the microphone to Chris. Chris will cover the overall introduction, and we'll, uh, we'll step back uh, and go over the proposals for funding. Chris, would you please come up to the microphone and talk to the public? Thank you, Joe. Um, as Joe said, um, I am Chris Klimchuk, Grant Coordinator from the Community Economic Development Department. We're going to begin our public hearing tonight. Uh, the opening statement, Joe did touch on uh, one part of that, is that this is part of a required process. Uh, we have two public hearings that are required. Uh, today is our first one. We'll have another one in March. And that is required by the Department of Housing and Urban Development, HUD, regular and that's part of our preparation for our program year 2019-2020 action plan. A summary of all the proposals received will be presented at this public hearing. The CEDD will prepare the fiscal year 2019-20 action plan draft in coordination with the mayor and city council for public review and comments. A second public hearing will be conducted in March to present the proposed action plan to the public for comments. The CEDD will then present the final action plan to the Mayor and City Council for final approval and submission to HUD in May or June of this year, 2019. The public hearing today has been published in the local press and guide newspaper and on the community development portion of the city's website and advertised accordingly to invite the public to this public hearing being held tonight. The program year 2019 annual action plan is the city's annual one-year plan that describes specifically how federal funds will be spent over the course of the upcoming program year. And these projects are geared to accomplish the goals stated in the 2016 to 2020 five-year consolidated plan. The estimated CDBG, which is the Community Development Block Grant Program, allocation is $1,018,034. That's based on last year's grant amount, but the uh, formula allocation amount has not yet been announced by HUD for uh, program year 2019-20. So we base that on the estimate based on last year's amount that we received. Program income uh, from this fiscal year, 2018, that we're in now, is used uh, to compute to calculate the 15% public services cap that is used within the budget. Um, program income received as of today by the Community Development Department. Uh, that program income is the revolving loan fund, which is the re residential rehab program loan repayments. So far, we've received $110,884. Uh, that is, uh, again, used to calculate the public services cap of 15%, which is the uh, entitlement amount estimated that we will receive plus that amount times 15%. The uh, estimated funds available for allocation for program year 2019, uh, the estimated grant funds, which I stated earlier, of $1,018,034. The estimated program income for program year 2019, our estimate will be 100000 
and the fiscal year 2018 program income that we've already received as of today will be included in that, and that is the 110,884 number. Uh, we're also proposing to reprogram funds from previous year activities from the uh, fiscal year 2017 Vista Maria facility rehab, $1,067, and $50,000 from the fiscal year 2018 Berwyn improvements line item. So total reprogramming proposed is $51,067. So the total estimated funds available uh, for the 19 action plan year will be $1,279,985 as of today. A few overall goals of the Community Development Block Grant Program, uh, they uh, must meet HUD national objectives, and that is benefit low and moderate income people based on limited clientele. Benefit low and moderate income people based on the CDBG low and moderate income areas. Benefit low and moderate income people based on household income. And the prevention or elimination of slums or blight. The low and moderate income limited clientele category are comprised of these um, eligible persons. Low and moderate income persons and households, abused children, elderly persons, battered spouses, homeless persons, adults meeting the Bureau of Census's definition of severely disabled persons, illiterate adults, persons living with AIDS, and migrant farm workers. Um, those uh, on our, uh, that will view this on WDHT, um, we don't have a, a map available to be put up there. We might be able to, to do that. We'll, we'll take a look at that. But we do have a map available that uh, shows all of the HUD CDBG eligible low and moderate income areas. Those are areas within the city uh, where projects can be undertaken, eligible projects within those areas that benefit low and moderate income persons within those areas. The uh, household income limits, the HUD household income limits, those are income limits we use to determine eligibility for some of our programs, mainly the residential rehabilitation program. And currently, uh, for those programs, uh, we'll go up to uh, household size of eight. For one person is $39,700. For two person is $45,400. For a three person household is $51,050. For a four person, $56,700. For a five person household, $61,250. Six person, $65,800. 7 person $70,350 and an 8 person household the threshold is $74,850 uh, HUD provides those uh, numbers to us usually about once a year they're usually updated annually in April those are subject to change those are the current amounts that we use at this time uh, that's a uh, basic introduction overall view of the Community Development Block Grant Program and now I'll turn it back over to our director Joe and he's going to explain the proposals that we received and that we've received and continue on with the public hearing. Oh, thank you Chris. <coughs> what I'm going to do um, right now is basically go to uh, through the uh, proposals that we have received for funding for fiscal year 2019 and 2020. Um, I'm going to use a lot of the numbers that Chris had mentioned and explain how we got to those numbers. First of all, we have our 2019 action plan proposed funding. <coughs> Planning and administration is capped at 20 percent, so we what we did is we took the one million 
plus the 100,000, which is the uh, projected uh, uh, program income, and we multiply that by 20%, we come up to $223,606. That will be used for administration. That number, again, might go up or down depending on the actual uh, of, uh, uh, grant that we receive. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is the proposed funding for public improvement projects. This, these uh, programs do not have any caps on them, and I'll go through these uh, item line by line. Residential rehab is $400,000. We are also received a water main replacement uh, from DPW for $250,000. Uh, we have code enforcement. Also, we received a proposal from them for $100,000. Vista Maria facility improvements, we received a proposal for $30,000. Eaton Senior Center improvements, $41,000. These are the proposals that we have received. And we also propose ourselves Good Neighborhood Program, $50,000. The total of these numbers is $871,000 that will be proposed. Uh, again, these numbers that I just mentioned do not have any caps on them, so we might work with them back and forth to uh, make sure that our budget is balanced. Uh, fiscal year 2019 action plan proposed funding for public services. Keep in mind the public services are capped at 15%, and the way we calculate those, and Chris went over it already, is we took our, propo our estimated Black grant of one million and eighteen thousand and thirty four dollars plus the actual program income that we have received of one hundred and ten thousand uh, dollars total these two numbers you come up to one million one hundred twenty eight dollars nine hundred and eighteen dollars you multiply that by fifteen uh, fifteen percent which is the cap you come up with one hundred and sixty nine thousand dollars three hundred $169,337. These are the numbers that we can use for public services. Next, what I'm gonna talk about is the proposed funding for public services. Those are what we have already received in writing. Uh, we have received for senior services, they have requested $100,000, and that's for both centers, which is the Eaton Center and the Berwyn Center. Uh, crime prevention sent us a proposal or a request for $125,000. Fair Housing Center of Metro Detroit sent us a request for $6,000, and LAHC have sent us a request for $16,734. Uh, the total proposed uh, funding uh, request for public services totals $247,000, $247,734. Um, again, because this number is capped, we can only use $169,337. $337. I keep repeating the dollars, I'm sorry about that. Um, as you can tell from this page, and all of these will be on our website, there also we have plenty of copies here available for anybody, and we're all available for um, answer any questions. Uh, the capped amount of $169,000 is obviously a lot less than the proposed amount of $247,000. So we would have to also adjust these numbers to balance this out. Um, the next thing I'm gonna talk is the proposal summary, program proposal summary. Um, and this is summarized what we just went through. Planning administration, which is kept at 20%, that's $223,000 and some change. Public improvements, which has no cap on it, it's $871,000. Public service programs is $247,000 and some change. And this is capped at $169,000. The total proposals that we have received at CDBG is 1,342,000 and some change. Of uh, the fiscal year 2019 slash 2020 estimated available funding is 
$1,985. Again, there's a little bit of discrepancy here. Where we have more proposals than we actually have money, and we have to tweak these numbers and work with the council and the administration and the administration to balance our budget. Uh, the project summary is something that I, I think we started doing last year. It basically shows uh, what the CDBG has done in the last five years, and it's an ongoing uh, since 2014 to 2018. Uh, the project for residential rehab, we have funded in those four years $1,607,000. $504. Um, that comes out to about 65 um, people served, which mean residentials. Water main replacement, we have spent $1,025,000, and that serves about 10,295 people in the city of Dearborn Heights. Code enforcement, we spent about $500,000 in the last four years, and that, will, that did serve 47,967 people. Senior services, we spent $498,000, and that served 54,570 people in the great city of Dearborn Heights. Crime prevention, we have spent $250,000, and that served 70,519 people in the city of Dearborn Heights. So the totals for in the last four years is $3,880,993, and that served 183,416 people. What's next? Uh, what's next is we have to do our next public hearing, which will be in March, um, March of 2019. Uh, we also have to do a 30-day public uh, comment period. And then again, as Chris mentioned, we will have to come back to City Council and the administration for final approval of our uh, budget for 2019 slash 2020. Um, the participation of the residents of Dearborn Heights, City Council, administration, directors is uh, much needed and very much appreciated. Please feel free to call our office at any time. Our telephone number is 313-791-3500. And uh, if you have any questions or concerns, um, let us know. We will post this on our website. We also have some hard copies that are available here. Um, and I'm open to any questions right now. Mike, do you have any questions? Any comments, any questions? Yes, did you ask for Eaton? Yes, I did. Okay, no, I just didn't know if Mike did. Oh, oh Mike has not. The Mike, did you have something to say about the Eaton Center? Um, Eaton Center, um, looking for a new boiler. For okay. Do you, do you have an estimate cost of this, estimate or? Cost about fifty thousand dollars. Okay. What we do with this is, I will need like some kind of a proposal sent to us, and we will vet this out, and we will add a line item for it if it comes to if everything works out. Thank you, Mike. Again, this is for um, the public hearing is for the residents of Dearborn Heights. We are available for questions or comments either on our website or in on the telephone thank you very much and god bless you god bless the city of dearborn heights